Hi everyone! This is the first video in a series of videos where we're going to be walking through each of the Usico training page problems. Today, we're going to start with the first problem, which is called Your Ride Is Here. Essentially, this problem is going to give us an input of a name of a group and a name of a comet, which we then need to convert into a number, which is a product of all of the letters in the name, where A is equal to 1 and Z is equal to 26. We then are going to take the mod 47 of the group's number and the comet's number and compare these two numbers. If they're equal, we're going to output go, and if they're not equal, we're going to output stay. So let's jump into the pseudocode for this problem. We're going to start by initializing two strings, string s1 and string s2. S1 is going to be for the name of our group, while S2 is going to be for the name of our comet. We also want to initialize two integers, product1, which is going to be corresponding with string S1, and product2, which is going to be corresponding with string S2. Now something really important here is to actually initialize these product1 and product2 variables to 1 instead of 0. Because if we want to multiply these variables by other values, and if we have it set to 0 initially, they're just going to end up as 0 at the end of the day. So if we set it to 1, we can avoid this problem. Next, we want to find a way to easily compute the product. A way we can do this is to make use of the ASCII code where each character corresponds with a decimal, octal, and hexadecimal number. In this case, we're going to want to use the decimal values. For example, the character A corresponds with the decimal value 65, B corresponds with 66, C with 67, and so on. Since we want, in our case, A to equal 1, we're going to set an integer x equal to s1 and one of the characters minus 64. Since if the character was a, it would be 65 minus 64, which would give us 1. Similarly, if the character is b, it's going to be 66 minus 64, which would give us 2, which is what we want in this case. So that would give us the number value for each of our characters. We want to make this into a loop since we're going to have more than one character. And we're going to set the bounds for this as the length for one of the strings. Since in C++ we treat strings sort of as arrays, we're just going to access each character by using brackets. Once we've gotten the value x, we're going to set product1 equal to product1 multiplied by x. We're going to want to do a similar thing for string2. So let's create a similar loop with the length of string2 as the bounds this time. And we can again set an integer x here, and this would be s2 bracket i minus, again, 64. And in this case, it would be product 2 is equal to product 2 multiplied by this x value. Now that we have the respective products, we want to take the mod 47 of both of these products. Once we've taken this mod 47, we can then check if the new values of product 1 and product 2 are equivalent. If they are, then we want to print out go. If not, we want to print stay. So now that we figured out our pseudocode for this problem, let's get right into coding. Okay, so let's get started with actually coding out this problem. 
first, we're going to start with initializing our variables. So again, we want to create string s1, which would store the name of one of our groups, and string s2, which would store the name of the comment. We also then want to initialize product1 and product2. Now that we've initialized these variables, we want to ask for the user input to actually get these values. Okay, so now that we've actually gotten the values of S1 and S2, we can start by creating the for loops to compute the actual products. Here we're setting the bounds to the length of string 1 because we're going to be dealing with string 1 in this case. So again, we have our integer x is equal to s1i, which is the particular character at the index i, minus 64. And then we want to multiply product 1 by this x value and resave it into the same variable product1. We're going to do the same thing for string2 and create a similar for loop. In this case, however, our bounds are going to be defined by the length of string2. Again, here we have the same integer x, which is then going to be equal to s2 i, which is the character at the index i of string 2, and again minus 64. Then we have product 2 is equal to product 2 multiplied by x. Now that we've gotten the values for product 1 and product 2, we want to take the mod 47 of these values. So we'll set product 1 equal to product 1 mod 47. And similarly, product 2 is equal to product 2 mod 47. So now product 1 and product 2 will have their final values. So all that's left for us to do is to compare whether these two values are actually equivalent. So if product 1 is equal equal to product 2, here we're going to use the double equals because we're doing a comparison, then we want to print out go. And now we're going to do a similar thing for the else loop. We're going to print out stay if the values are not equivalent. And now we just want to end this file off with a return zero and we should be good to go. So now let's build and test this file. So now it's asking for an input. And if we're going to go by the example inputs that they have on the Usago website, we can test out the first one. Comet Q and HVNGAT. So this is supposed to output Go. So let's try this out. Okay, cool. So we have Go. Now let's test out the case where the output is actually stay. For this case, the input is abstar usico, and it prints out stay. Wonderful. Looks like our file works. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope it's been helpful for you. See you next time.